Hi guys, I'm cooking today matki. Why I'm calling it matki? Because this is a Maharashtrian dish. It's from Maharashtra, Mumbai, Surat or whatever the Mumbai area and nearby all the Maharashtra. This is, we call it moat. In the name of moat, you can buy them. I soaked it two days ago. Uh, first, I soaked it for a couple of hours and then I throw the water and I was been keeping it so the sprout can come so it's from two days I was growing the sprout and now you can see such a nice the sprout have come here so this is a matki if you don't know that's known as a moat in uh, shops and this is in Marathi they call it moat uh, matki but in the name of moat beans you can buy them from the shop it was like this and i had soaked it a couple of hours then i put it um, in the container after throwing the water and i, I had covered it and every now and then like i was shaking it and now after two days this the sprout i got it such a nice one now we are going to make it the missile so they eat it with pow. If you don't like pow or a bread, they eat with the pow mainly or the bread. But if you don't like it, you can have it with roti, prota. Now, what I'm going to do is here, first we are going to boil this. So I've kept the water to boil here. And now I'm going to add a one teaspoon of turmeric powder one teaspoon of salt and now the smoked bean the sprout one this goes in the water and we are going to hard boil it not very soft soft because this has to cook with the spices and all so let this cook in here we'll keep the stove on the medium to low and when it is cooked, I'll cover it, cook it. Say it will take about seven to eight minutes. And we will come back and check by the time. Let's go and make our uh, masala, the spice for this. So let's go and make that. Our mount matki is boiling. Now let's prepare the spices so i've got here one tablespoon of oil i've chopped some fresh korea and uh, coconut so let's fry them and here when our coconut is little bit pinky then we are going to add our rest of the spices can see now this has started getting pink so I'm going to add a few of the chili just to roast so these are the Kashmiri chili they are not hot so as many as you want uh, you can roast it but I'm going to roast the four or five of them because they are not hot hot and just roast a little and while roasting just put it aside and I'm going to add a ginger and garlic paste here with them. So that's one thing. And now garlic paste and ginger paste. You just roast it with this. Little bit water goes the flavor. Enhance the flavor. And now I'm going to turn this off. Let me let it cool down and then we are going to let it grind. Let it cool and then only grind it. Up. 
don't grind their hot all the spices any because your blender will have a leakage or they all yes, they don't work them properly after a few days then you will see the rubber there they get loose because of the heat if the spices are hot or then spill and they come out the water so let it cool down and then i'll get it grind and bring it going to make the by the time our gravy masala so here I've got two teaspoon of oil not too much and um, in that I have got a sliced onion chopped sliced onion which I'm going to add so this is two sliced onion you can uh, the lots of onion goes in this so if you are cooking more because this is only I'm cooking for three to four people so if you are cooking for more add more onion so here now we add it first of all mustard seed seed as a fortida in turmeric All this start crackle. Then add onion. This is a very very Marathi style. If you don't like too much of onion, you can make it less. Those are curry leaves in Maharashtrian dish. Curry leaves is a must. Let this saute. Let we put the heat low. We need some tomato here. Now this is done little bit and now I'm going to add the tomato. The chopped tomato approximately it is big two tomato. So while the tomato is cooking we are going to add a salt because then it will help tomato to cook fast. Adding a Kashmiri chili, it will give a good color. So let the tomato get softened. I've got my spice, the coconut, I have grinded. So once the tomato gets softened then we are going to add that in this we add one masala which is known as a goda masala you can buy them from the i think indian grocery shop if you don't have not to worry you can add garam masala it is just like a garam masala but 
the more spices are in there and that is known as a goda masala which is available in indian grocery shop tomato is softened now you can see and now we are going to add some of the kashmiri chili a little bit and goda masala and i'm adding a little bit of cumin powder mix that now we are going to add our coconut masala which we grind it now put the heat to medium now it is was very low so we want our this coconut spice to get mix with this nicely remember everything is being fried so they have been already done but now we are going to mix everything and we will see that the oil will come out and that's the time we know that our spices are really ready and here our matki is ready it's been boiled so i have turned it off it will take few minutes like 3 4 minutes till the oil comes out and everything gets merge and mix so we have to wait that little bit so you can see the oil are coming up but we want to do it 2 3 minutes till the whole thing gets merge up mix nicely and then oil comes out then we are going to add a matki in here that look at oil as already out and it means our everything is merged nicely and now we are going to add here the boil mood i didn't put much water because i didn't want it this to be watery watery but after just mixing it we are going to add a water in here so i have boiled the water and keep it as soon as this is mix we are going to add a boiled water say approximately 500 ml let this boil this won't be very 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 thick some people they mix the chickpea flour roast them 1 teaspoon of chickpea flour and add it but this is not very thin so after boiling it will be okay if you want a thick thick one want to make a little bit drier side that roast the besan chickpea flour for this much add a 
one tablespoon of chickpea flour and mix it in this then your this usal will be thickened or you can make them even dry one some people they make dry and eat with the bread just like that it's very very popular I'm adding a one teaspoon of brown sugar but if you don't like just avoid that just one tablespoon and that is a brown sugar just for that tangy taste sweet sour and you serve lemon wedges if anyone wants they just put some lemon and then they eat on the top you can put a kind of a fursan they call it in Maharashtra you put that or you just serve like this or put that save and fursan on the top and a little bit of chopped onion lemon wedges and then you serve so top up with that and eat it is yum so let this boil and then we'll be serving This is our very, very Marathi style, Maharashtrian style. The misal, usal, misal, surat, Maharashtra, Pune, all these places there, Mumbai, they make this. I'm going to change this because I'll be serving now. So I need something where I can serve. This has been boiling and you can see it is now done. And we are going to serve this. So I'm going to turn this off and we'll be serving it with the pow. So I've got pow ready. And you don't like serve pow with any butter or anything but if you like you can put some butter and do it on the pan both the sides you can cut it from the middle and you can put it but normally just the dry bread or dry pow is being served because it has got all those spices and all you don't need any on them now a little bit of coriander and I forgot to put the coriander in this pan so I'll put some coriander in the pan mix it and here add some fursan on the top The mix for some and that's how you serve this so this is my version of doing the matki the usul and pow so i've served it with the pow this is the pow i have not done anything so this is usul or usul whatever you call it pow and some lemon and onion there to eat with so guys if you like my video if you like my recipes please subscribe like my video share with your friends press the bell icon so you get the notification when i post the new video thank you